In the previous lessons, showed you how you can get data, how you can create a JavaScript object, how you can create uh, Ajax request, pull that JavaScript file, that JSON file in and utilize it within your JavaScript. So this lesson, we're gonna look at building out the quiz. Uh, so first of all, we wanna start by looping through all of the objects within, uh, within the my object. And I'm just gonna copy that over. And now we're looping through all the objects there. So we've got the my object and really cool because we can get the questions there and so on. So let's see what happens now. So we've got the two questions popping up. So nice, exactly what we need. I can get rid of that one because that's just taking up some space there. And we can continue to build out the questions. So we want to build out all of the questions exactly as needed and build out the quiz. Uh, so one of the things here with the quiz itself is that we want to have multiple pages. We want to have these questions on multiple pages. So this is where we need to have different page values. Uh, so maybe let's go back up here to the top and where we set up the my object. I'm going to set up another value here. So we'll call it page. And we're going to initially start out with page zero. And then as we move through, we're going to build the quiz and depending on what the page value is going to be. Uh, so once we're ready to start the quiz, we can fire off maybe the loading of the questions and then we build out the quiz and we can automatically maybe start to send to send to page one. And then over here is where we're going to pick up the page value or I'll just call it P to avoid confusion there. Uh, so we're gonna have an existing page value here. Uh, so maybe we can even do page and equal it to one. So this is our first page or first question. Um, so just to avoid confusion with question because we're already using that here, I'm just gonna call it pages and we can pass through the page value here and we're, we're building out a page value globally as well. So we may or may not need to utilize this. So let's just uh, see how this goes and start building this out. So we want to build out questions for page one. And we want to have the ability to load all of that data from the My Object. Because remember again, previously I showed you how you can load that content into the My Object. So now let's take a look at this and we see that we don't necessarily even need to do this loop because we're got, we've got page values. Uh, so maybe even going back to this and we can automatically set it to page zero and do it this way. So we can start out on any question that we want. If we want to start out on question one, uh, then maybe we'll do it this way. So I'm, gonna, I'm just doing it this way so that we have the ability to access the correct object. So let's simply console log out and see if we can get that correct question. So page one and which is gonna be our first item in the object array. So we're gonna do exactly this and we're gonna call this page minus one. So let's take a look and see what happens here. So we get what color is an apple? So that's the correct question. So now we can actually build out our output area here. So maybe we want to do this where we set. So I'm going to call these my questions. So this is going to be the actual question container for the question. And now we need to create a loop through the possible answers. Uh, so let's take a look at that and build out a loop through all the possible answers there. And also I'm gonna build out my correct. And so this is actually gonna pull back the correct value and which I believe we just called it correct. So we do need to store that as well. And now we're ready to loop through and output some questions. So maybe we can uh, build out 
a variable for question holder. And we'll just start that out with just being blank. Or maybe we want to do some formatting. We've got some questions. Uh, so again, depending on how we want to do that. So maybe we'll just worry about that later on and create our loop here for each loop. So same thing that we did down here where we're going to loop through all the available items in the object, but we're not going to be using the my object. We're going to be using the my object and we're going to check answers. And here is where we're going to build out that question holder. So each one of these question holders uh, is going to hold some kind of value here. Uh, so let's build this one out. So question holder. And remember again that we're using Bootstrap. So this is going to make it easy for us to do some quick styling with it. So I'm going to do call on small. It's going to be six. This is a class that I'm going to use. And let's uh, create a hyperlink here. So we're going to have our uh, clickable information here. So we'll build out our question. Uh, so I want to give the user the ability to be able to click these uh, questions. We could do them as buttons as well. And then I'm going to add in. So I'm going to add in that answer. So yeah, this is getting fairly long here. Uh, but um, we could have also put this my object page minus one into a container as well. Uh, so this is going to be answers and so answers I and then finish up that one and finish up the div. So there we go. So now we're building out the question holder and maybe we want to, after we loop through here, maybe we want to build out that output area. So we're going to do output and set that inner HTML. So I've got that value there. So set it up as so we've got a div there. So add in the my question might even want to we'll do some formatting with this afterwards so let's just uh, get this up and running and we can also add in another line here so we'll just do the question holder And let's see what this looks like now so far. So we do have all of our, we've got our question up here and we've got our possible answers. So this is a good start to building out our quiz. And of course, we need to do a little bit more formatting as well. Uh, so in the next lesson, we're going to go back into our HTML and style this a little bit better so that we're presenting our questions that in a little bit more user friendly experience. But this is the basics and we're uh, set and ready to continue with building out our application.